So a couple weeks ago, I tried a duck for the first time. Today, I'm trying something else for the first time. Turkey wings. <laughs> Today I'm doing turkey wings. I've never done before, but take a look at these things. These things are huge. I mean, the size of my hand compared to it. Got the turkey leg on there, big ass wing. I'm really looking forward to trying this. I've seen these at the store. It was like a little over six bucks for two of these big bastards, so I had to, <laughs> I had to go for it. And it's like 60 something degrees today, so for December. I ain't passing up a chance to grill. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've already patted these dry with a paper towel. I'm gonna get some uh, canola spray on them just to help my uh, seasoning stick. I'll do one side right now, I'll do the other side later. I'm gonna add just a little uh, salt and pepper. And I'll season it with uh, something I'm really looking forward to trying. Killer Hogs the Barbecue Rub. It's another show that I watch all the time on YouTube. Um, How to Barbecue Right with Malcolm Reed. And I've always wanted to try this. And now Walmart sells it. So hopefully they'll get the uh, other flavors soon. Like the Hot Barbecue Rub. So I'm looking forward to trying this. The other side of this one, the salt and pepper. So we'll flip that one too. Sure, I forgot to uh, spray that side. All right. And, uh, spray also help that skin get good and crispy. Never done this before, never even tried it before, so a lot of firsts going on this time. Actually, I'm always doing a lot of firsts. There's a lot of things I cook that I've never tried cooking before. That's what I like to do. Get around, just a bit of seasoning. All right, these things are seasoned up and they're ready for the grill. I've got the grill going. Um, I'm gonna cook these around 300 degrees. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm just gonna have to monitor it and uh, wait and see. Okay, my Weber kettle is running at 300, exactly where I want it. So let's get these things on. <coughs> Of course, I've got it set up for uh, indirect cooking. Just over there like that. Get the lid back on it. We'll check back with these. Uh, Probably an hour or so. 
I'm uh, smoking with peach wood today. Um, cause I've got a bag of peach wood that I've never tried before and forgot I had it. So I decided to use that. If I thought about using that, I would have got some like peach preserves or something like that and made a barbecue sauce for this. That would have been amazing. But too late. I'll do something with them. Might sauce one and leave the other one dry. Okay, so I guess it isn't ever too late. Because I realized that there was a couple other things I forgot from the grocery. So I went and got them and our peach preserves. So I'm going to go ahead and make that sauce. I'll go with about a, almost a half a jar of the peach preserves. I got that, come home, had to come up with a quick recipe. Um, so the peach preserves, I'm going to add about right around half a cup of uh, chili sauce, a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. about a half a cup of honey or a quarter cup however sweet you want it I think it's probably good about a quarter cup of turbinado sugar or brown sugar whatever you want I don't think I'm gonna go quite that much because the peach preserves and the honey it's gonna be pretty sweet Some garlic powder about a half teaspoon Same with the onion powder. And a half teaspoon of smoked paprika. About a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Might add just a little bit more. Give it a little kick. To go with that sweet. Pinch of salt and pepper. About a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Give that a whisk. A deep red color. It's going to look great on those. Uh, turkey wings. All right, so I'm going to let that heat up and uh, just kind of keep it on low and be ready to baste those wings when they're done. They're almost done. <coughs> All right, these uh, turkey wings are sitting at about 167 internal. So right now I'm going to get the uh, sauce on there and just a little more of that uh, the barbecue rub Crank it over. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Let those set up. Let them get to about 170, a little over. 
and turn on and we'll take them off. Okay, these turkey wings. Oh, look at how beautiful. Mm-hmm. I'm calling these things done. Almost done, anyways. They're reading right about 170, 171. I'll take these off, get them inside, let them rest. Let them carry over close to 175. Okay, we've got these uh, turkey wings off the grill, and man, they look gorgeous. Can't wait to try one. Let's just get right to it. Uh, which one do I want to nibble on? Start with this one. I grabbed the wrong knife. This is going to be messy. Screw it, I'm just gonna Killer flavor. I feel like a barbarian right now. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I got any. Yeah, fantastic flavor on these. Um, that uh, Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. You can taste that, that really comes through. That peach wood that I smoked it with. And also the peach barbecue sauce that I made. It's not like overly peachy. It's kind of sweet, a little spicy. Pretty damn good. Yeah. These, uh, the drum mats on the, I don't even think you'd call them drum mats on a turkey wing. They're the size bigger than a chicken leg. And the flats are huge. Good flavor. I will, uh, I'll do them again. Never had them, never cooked them before, but that's well, a success. So that's it for me today. Uh, if you can find some turkey legs, try them yourself. They cook for about, around about two hours. That's it for me. Wanna wish everyone a Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate. Hope you have a wonderful holiday and a safe and happy new year. I'll see you again before that. Take care.